the small-scale aquaculture sector has beyond doubt contributed immensely to Nigeria's domestic production. The importance of protein from aquaculture cannot be overemphasized as more than 40% of annual protein consumed by an average Nigerian comes from aquaculture such as fish, crustaceans, amongst other seafoods. According to Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, aquaculture production in Nigeria grew from 21,700 tons in 1999 to 316,700 tons in 2015. Although the figure has risen significantly, the country is yet to bridge the gap between its demand and supply chain. Also, reports from the federal government show that national production stood at about 1.1 million metric tons, which captures all sources, including aquaculture, artisanal and industrial fishing sector. This leaves Nigeria with a supply shortfall of about 2.1 million metric tons. In attempting to help bridge the supply gap on what some may describe as a small-scale aquaculture supply chain, I paid a visit to our new Luakbo fish market in Lagos, Nigeria. We started this market around 1986. We registered this market in 19. 94. Although in existence for such a long time, it still retained its mundane look. The fishermen who supply to the market use the old-fashioned methods of fishing, using hooks, ropes, nets and rods, as well as trawling mechanism. I spoke with Nelson Okbata, a fisherman and the proud father of six children, who regularly supplies to the market. He said he had been in the business for about 30 years. Now, so where are we? I removed from here. Before three days, we have reached there. Place where we are the work. We are plenty. I say seven people, eight, uh, eight people. Where we are reached there, we are the fine fishing. Okay, where are the fine fishing? I say four days, we are no catch. After that, five, seven days, they have turned back. Where eight days? To nine days, they will come back again. Now, so be we are work for them. I wondered why it took so long to get a good catch. He further explained how seasons affect their success. It depends the time where Christmas they come. Christmas they come, like say January. January says we are the catch. January to February. So we are catch. Where that time pass, the fish go go down. Where it reach, time where where they fall, where they fall, where where, where fish they come. That time self, fish they walk out. But we are the suffer before we have to catch fish. Where where for finish, before fish no fish walk out where. But it go strong before it go catch small. He showed me a quick demonstration of how they succeed in filling up their inbuilt storage facilities. You see the wire, the rope with this one. This is the hook. The two where they take catch fish. Maybe this one. He hold like that. He go see say fish catch. Wait, do one, 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 do on arrival, the fishermen had nothing to worry about as they already had steady of takers. I spoke with Ayomide, who showed me the species of fish they supplied to her. We have different kind of fish here. Like this one, this one is red snapper. Then this one is shiny nose. 
This one is grouper. This one is tilapia. Then this one is croaker. This one is white snapper. Mrs. Gami Boye, who has been in the business for over 30 years, said she specialized in the sale of crustaceans and just like the fishermen, she had no worries selling them off. I sell prawns, I sell lobsters, I sell crab, I sell uh, calamari, sometimes I sell shrimps. We sell sea, seafood. Uh, you know we have river own, but this one is sea, it's from the sea. So when the trawler boat, the big boat, they bring it, they bring it down here, then we buy. Sometimes, because we used to supply restaurants, we have many restaurants that we used to supply. She, however, spoke on the inconsistency in the quantity supplied by the fishermen in kilograms. And sometimes they used to bring 500, 300, but yesterday you bring only 100 kilos for me. To also avoid spoilage, she showed me how she preserves her purchase in an event she doesn't sell all. They were old and abandoned refrigerating systems which they fill with ice and sack cloth and immerse their catch. We don't have uh, electric something yet, so we used to put it here. It's an ice block. It's an ice block. If you want the one inside, see, it's very fresh. See? Because we use ice block, even fish. They preserve it with ice block. If you bring it, yeah, share you see, very fresh. That is how we preserve it. Although the supply chain management system seemed fair and well regularized in the market, even as it contributed to the small scale aquaculture sector in the country, they shared their challenges with me. And on the part of the fishermen, Nelson said, We are going to ask them for fishing. That one, no be small thing. It's easy we are going big, big fish, big, big boat. Sheep, sheep, big, big one, where they from? I brought the pump. They are got some light. Some light, light, flashing light. Where the time reach, we are the use them. Because of the that big ship, where they come, go look, yes. That one, where you know you get that one? Where you sleep, where? Where night catch you? You go feel break your boat. All of them feel go die one day. But Naiji, we are no going repeller for them, mechanic for them. But where you are you go problem for them. You go use your mind. From there you go ashore. Before you go call people where they are for gram. Say so so now so so we are there here. We are you don't spoil you. But if somebody can't find boat, can't help us. If you dare far, your phone, you know go read because of you know go get recessing for them. But you go use your mind. Where God self go help you. Use your man small, 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 small. You have got something for the boat. Where you go first before you go can gram. If you they reach the race, where are ready for? We are not going some place where I go sleep. You go take this rubber. Any place, any plenty of people, you go put this side. Where you go to like that? Like the place where you day, where you know what? You go carry side the like fry boat. Where you carry gun. Where if they find you for fishing, where you see you, you go take their gun. Sometimes you go carry your eg for your hand. Sometimes you go carry your fish. Go. On the retail end, Bami Buye said. Sometimes if there is no market, you used to spoil. And immediately it spoil, we throw it away. So, so, but if you throw it away, like ready season now, if they bring plenty, you used to spoil. Because the, those are our customers, they will, they will go for summer. So there will be no market. Little one we sell, and the rest we throw it away. But in the dry season, we have to get it back. Because in the dry season, they will not see. So they have to come to you, then, and the price will increase. Inside the increasement, we see the loss. For Homvo, he had two main concerns. We need light. And then, if the government can help us here, yeah, some people don't have more money to do their business. Obviously, for small-scale aquaculture operators like Nelson, as well as retailers like Bamigboe and Ayomide, 
more support from the federal government in terms of fostering an enabling environment will potentially position Nigeria to become not only self-reliant for her aquaculture needs, but also serve as an exporting terrain for neighboring countries. With all said and still being done, for the fishermen, after a successful or unsuccessful catch, a nicely prepared meal is a necessity. For Plus TV Africa, Irene Ubani.